guys, today I'm going to show you guys all my miniatures from 2013. So let's get started. All of these would be made out of polymer clay unless I tell you otherwise. So yeah. So my first ever miniature that I ever made was this fish. It was inspired by Sugar Charm Shop's tutorial. It's, as you can see, it's made out of translucent polymer clay and it's shaded with different, shop, different chalk pastels. I made the cutting board and I used cane slices that I made and I have translucent clay for ice cubes and it's the back. So yeah. The next miniature I have were these two cakes and they were inspired by Tony Ellison. They've got strawberries on the inside and this one has chocolate drizzle. I really like all the detail that I had with these. And yeah. My next miniature is this Sloppy Joe with French fries. And this was inspired by Rachel Minnie's tutorial. Um, many of the miniatures that I made were inspired by many different people. Um, so yeah, just so you guys know. The next miniature I have is this apple pie with a slice and this is from Sugar Charm Shop's old tutorial on it. She's recently made a revised tutorial on it. And this was actually okay. It wasn't my favorite. Um, it doesn't have a lot of texture but it was one of my um, first miniatures so I am keeping it. The piece just fits in nicely. So, yeah. Another miniature that I have that I'm really proud of is this pizza miniature. And this is actually inspired by one of my cook, my mom's cookering book, cookery books. And um, it was Italian, so it had all these different types of pizzas. And mmm, was I hungry, Ben. So this really got some nice texture and shading, and I added a pepper effect by using black chalk pastels, and I grated it. And I'm really happy with this piece. The back isn't textured or shaded, but that's okay for me. Next, I have this Thanksgiving turkey. And I really like it. It's got the turkey, and it's really textured and shaded. And then it's got stuffing, lettuce, and then some kind of gravy. And it's just kind of, um, like, drenched over the lettuce. And I glaze this with a matte glaze so it would have a little bit of shine. And I really like it. Next, I have this plate of spaghetti. And it was inspired by Sugar Charm Shop's tutorial. And, for spaghetti, so you guys. And, yeah, I really like it. It's actually one of the few times that I've actually made all my noodles the same, like, width. So they're all like even. And I really like this. This is the best spaghetti I've done so far. Or in 2013. Next I have this chocolate pie. And from about now, from Christmas this year, or this past year, all the way back, I've always made my plates out of white polymer clay. And I really like how this one turned out. But now I'm using some porcelain miniatures. And I think they look a lot better. I next have this frying pan inspired by Sugar Charm Shop's tutorial again. And it has her um, T-bone steak tutorial in it. I think it's, little, it's really, really cute. It's got the handle. So yeah. I've got this wooden tray that I made. And actually, this is kind of inspired by Sugar, or not Sugar Time Shop, sorry, Tony Ellison. And she made these cute little wooden baskets using popsicle sticks, I think it was. Or skinny sticks, I'm not sure. But I just used skinny sticks, and I glued this little tray together, so it's like a teton kind of thing. Next, I have this really, really tiny French baguette. And I have a lot of shading on it, and it looks like a burnt crust, and I like that look. And it's got like a soft inside looking, and this is inspired by Sugar Charm Shop. 
I next have this croissant, which was inspired by Sugar Charm Shop. And it's like, there's like yellowish, a yellow tinted TLS at the bottom to make it look like it's got butter, melted butter on it. Next, I have this breakfast plate. And this is inspired by many different people and they're just breakfast tutorials. So like um, Sugar Charm Shop and her pancake tutorial and her egg tutorial. And then I made the toast. I had a cane and the sausage. I just kind of figured it out myself and I really like it. And so you guys know, the two plates that are here, they look similar. That's because I molded one of my miniature plates to make them. And I had some. I just didn't have enough to make all the miniatures that I wanted on them, so I just saved them. Next, I have a cake, and I really like cakes. I used to make them really huge when I started off with clay, but now I've started making miniatures, and I think they're a lot better. Next, I have a chicken Caesar salad. Uh, the plate got kind of bent on this one. It's not as straight as I would like it to be, but it's okay. I still keep all the miniatures that I make since it's not that many. I guess I can't really zoom in. It's not focusing. Well, I think you guys can kind of see it. Next, I have this Pop-Tart, and it was like the fifth miniature I might have made. I don't know. Something like that. It was, it was one of my earlier ones, but I do like how it came out. And it was inspired by a sugar charm shot. I have this corn on the cob. It's not my favorite. It's kind of like the leaves are really wrapped onto the corn. It kind of um, covered my texturing that I really liked. But that's okay. Uh, it still lo would look cute in like a basket or something. Or in the tray that I made earlier. I've got an orange and an apple, and yeah, this is uh, this one was actually really difficult to make. You wouldn't think it, but the texture it kept rubbing off because it was round. So I spent a little bit on that, but it was really fun experimenting with. And then the apple was actually it's kind of like my revised apple because I had an apple, but it was really big. It was like a one to six scale size, and I actually like this a lot better. The shading is better, the shape, and the size. So, yeah. Next, I have these two chocolate chip cookies. And they're really, really tiny. It's hard to pick up. Yeah. So, yeah, that one looks like that. And this one is just the same. And I actually had a chocolate fountain that I made with them with strawberries and skewers and everything, but I don't have it with me right now, so I can't show you guys. Sorry, bad face. And that's all my miniatures that I have from 2013. Um, you guys, the last miniature would be my contest entry for Sugar Charm Shop. Um, this was a contest entry for her. But... Um, that's a whole bunch of miniatures that I made, like the bread, that's a whole bunch of miniatures that I made, but it's not really one, it's, it's not, I don't even know if it's technically a miniature because I can't really set this on the table easily, but it looks really cute and, you know, it would look, look good in themes and stuff, so I'm just happy with it and I'm happy with all of my miniatures, oops. So, I hope to improve on some of my techniques during this new year. And, yeah. So, Happy New Year, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video. So, yeah. Bye.